Yeah, we've got to be realistic. We have to be careful that, you know, uh, the results aren't overblown. But at the same time, you know, we have to effectively communicate that, like, yeah, these results really kick ass. These are big effects. And so, you know, we're sticking to the data, but we do have some data. And so we need all of the other indications. I mean, it's very compelling, you know, that you have these different addictive disorders and that, you know, it really flies in the face of most addictions medication that, you know, you, you're really treating this higher level psychological and biological process of addiction. You're not just quelling drug effects at one particular receptor like methadone or the nicotine patch do. So, you know, it's, it's really exciting to think we, we have something that is really about, you know, more of this, um, I, I think in the science of addiction doesn't really fully appreciate now that it, addiction has more to do with some of this, these issues that come with these sessions. Like, who are you in life? What is life about? What is this world about? What about your relations to the people you love in life? You know, what's it all about? What's important to you? And, and those things are not addressed by, or at least not addressed well, certainly not by any of the medications um, that are used to treat addiction. Broadly speaking, I'm interested in behavior change. And so, I mean, it's like everything we do. Like, you know, so many of the world's biggest problems relate to things we do. I don't think many of our problems aren't going to be technological solutions, or maybe they'll be behavioral technological solutions. We need to change our behaviors. And I think potentially this stuff could be brought to bear to a whole lot of things. But we have to individually test all of them and be cautious at each step.